Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen, my usual place in space. And today we will be doing some baking. Y'all know I love baking, I love cooking, all that good stuff because I am a foodie. Hey, this is Arika Misha. If you are new to my channel, welcome to all my new subscribers. I am Arika Misha. And if you go to my description, uh, you will see a great description of me. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, let's get into this baking, y'all. And today and by now you guys would have seen that I've already baked the Gerardelle Gerardelle yes I googled how to pronounce that Gerardelle Gerardelle <laughs> don't it sound so fancy anyway so by now you guys have seen my Gerardelle brownies and today we will be cooking the Gerardelle dark chocolate chips yes dark chocolate chips now I don't really I'm not a fan of dark chocolate but if you put it in the cookie, I eat it. Like if you put it in the candy bar, I'll eat it. But like any, I don't like the dark chocolate full candy bar. I don't like that. If you put it in something like a cookie, I eat it. But uh, my oldest daughter, she likes dark chocolate. But me and the little ones, we don't really like dark chocolate like that. But you put it in the cookie, and we will eat it. So thank you, Garadelle, for putting the dark chocolate in a cookie. And I have two boxes of the Garadelle uh, cookie mix. Um, and I have my favorite. This has become my favorite mixing bowl. Um, it is a three-piece set from Walmart. I don't know. Y'all gotta go to Walmart and find it. I don't know. But yeah, that's why I got it from. Three-piece set. It comes with uh, two smaller bowls that go inside of it. So this has become my favorite because you know what? It's big and it lets me mix everything all good. So let's get into these cookies. Okay, so the Garadella cookies, these are really easy, just like the brownies. That's what I like about it. Uh, I'll need one egg, half a cup of uh, butter, and that's it in the mix, of course, that comes in the box. And as you guys can see over here, because I have two boxes, of course, that means I have to do duh, double the ingredients. So I have one egg, actually two eggs, one for each box, and I have a full cup of butter because it's a half a cup per box. Half a cup of butter, half a cup of butter equals a full cup. Well, half and half equals a whole y'all. <laughs> you know what? Let me just tell you. I wasn't always that great at math, you know, but God got me through it, child, because math was my, that was my weakness. Math, mm, mm, mm. Anyway, y'all, but, okay, so half and half, okay, so that's a full cup of butter I have right here, and uh, my other box, and you know what? This is so easy. You just need a, uh, one egg and a half a, a cup, half a cup of butter, or one stick of butter, however you want to do it, but this is quick and easy. Y'all know this right up my alley. Quick and easy. Let's make these cookies. All right, we got our bowl. I already got my oven. Let me read the directions real quick. Okay, preheat oven at 375 degrees. I already did that. Uh, no, actually it says, if you're using a light, shiny surface cookie sheet, set oven at 385. That's what I did. Okay, if, ne if necessary, soften cold butter in the microwave. Yeah, uh -huh, I already melted my butter down. Okay, stir together egg and butter and cookie mix into dough forms. Hand knead if necessary. No, I ain't hand knead nothing. Scoop dough according to desired cookie shape. That's it. And just it. Mix it and place your cookies down and that's it. And down here they got a duo cookie and brownie bar. That's what they be calling them rookies. Like brownie, half brownie, half cookies. I want to try that. So y'all stay tuned for that. Because I'm definitely, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep this box. Because I want to make these. Because I see these in Publix and I buy them all the time. All right, let's get the mixing so we can get these cookies done now. I ain't trying to make this no long video. Let's see what's in this box. Okay, ain't nothing in this box. Ain't nothing in this box but your mix. With your chocolate chips in your mix. That's all that's in here. Let's get everything in here now. Quick and easy. Uh-oh. Quick and easy. I don't get this dumped in. Okay. Smell sweet. Yeah, I've never really been a big fan of uh of dark chocolate. Never really liked it, but <clears throat> like like I said, if it's in a cookie, if it's in something, then I can tolerate it. But I'm not buying no dark chocolate candy bars and that like that. 
So dark chocolate to me, I know they say it's a healthier, healthier choice. Um, but that dark chocolate, the only thing I don't like about it, it's got that little, like that little, little tang to it. Like a little bitter taste. If you ever had dark chocolate, you know what I'm talking about. So. I gotta keep one of these boxes. I'm gonna keep this one so I can do the um, brownie and cookie thing. So, all right. Oh, forgot my fork. You all hold on. Hold on while I get my fork. Okay, so I got my fork ready to mix it. Okay, so the only thing I'm doing, try easy. Make sure y'all can see. I'm just putting in the eggs and the butter. Let's go ahead and get this butter in there. Okay. All right, and I'm going to use my cup to crack my eggs in. All right, one egg. Oh, this mix smells so good. It smells so good. Good and sweet. Okay, and both of my eggs in there. Easy, y'all. That's it. That's it. That's it, y'all. Put our butter in there, our eggs in there, just mix it. And this going to give us our, our cookie, y'all. Uh, our cookie dough. That's it. I'm just going to spoon them up. And get them in that oven, y'all. This should make quite a few cookies. Because I'm going to do like little cute small cookies. And like I said, that's why I like this bowl. Let's me mix up everything. And make sure everything gets mixed real good. Oh, this smells good. This may be dark chocolate, but it smells amazing. Oh, it smells good. And they got a lot of chocolate chips in here, too. Let me show y'all. They got a lot of chocolate chips in there. Y'all see it. I'll tell you, this light. I changed my light bulbs, y'all. I changed my kitchen light bulbs, you know, to like them bright LED lights. So my lighting is better. I really like my lighting. It's better now. Because at first, they had like them yellow lights. I was like, nah, I need to get some better lighting for my channel, for my, for when I be in the kitchen cooking and stuff. I need the people to see. I need to get the people what they want. All right, now I don't want to over mix this. So, make sure everything mixed real good. Get all my stuff off the sides. Getting all my mix, getting all my stuff I paid for. Yes. Okay, yeah, I need to mix a little bit more at the bottom. I see some little cookie dough pockets down there okay all right so we got it mixed okay okay all right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put my cookie dough mix in the refrigerator I always do this even when I make my homemade cookies I'm gonna put my cookie dough mix in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so it can you know settle and get itself all Chunky up, chunky up. That ain't a word, but whatever, y'all. Chunky up. So I can get more, you know, get more stiff. Because right now, it's like all gooey. So this is the cookie mix. All right, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Uh, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and tray it up. Put my little handy dandy. Y'all know I be using this all the time. I think this is like the one inch scooper. I want to get these in a, in a couple of different sizes, but yeah, I'm just going to, they're going to be like the little cute little mini cookies. I'm going to scoop them up. I might come back and let y'all see that. I might. Okay, let me get this uh, cookie dough in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. And as you guys can see, the dark chocolate, the Radele chocolate chip cookies are all out of the oven. I do have, actually, I have more cookies to bake. I just wanted to come and show y'all real quick before I forget to show y'all before I start eating these cookies. They are all done, and as y'all can hear in the background, I'm cooking up something in the background. Y'all will see that video. I ain't showing y'all. I'm telling y'all, I be doing 10 things at, at once. I be washing, cleaning, cooking this, baking that, frying this. I be doing all kinds of stuff, y'all. With the chocolate chip Garadella cookies, there they are. And the word of the day, be thankful. That's what God been dealing with me on. Be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Let's not be greedy. Let's be thankful because there's some people who ain't got nothing. Be thankful. If you're thankful for what you have, he'll bless you with more. How he gonna bless you when you ain't thankful for what you got right now? I'm just telling you what he been dealing with me about. All right, y'all. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Bye.